Boeing's best-selling plane in history has been grounded for almost 15 months now. And during that time, most, if not all, of the news surrounding the MAX has indeed been bad. Well, Boeing fans get ready to turn those frowns upside down. Because beginning as early as Monday, June 28th, Reuters is reporting that pilots, test crew members from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, and Boeing are scheduled to begin a three-day certification test process to get the MAX back in the air. Let's talk about it next on Maximus. Real quick before we start, if you enjoy the content here in the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to like and ring the bell so you can be notified every time we release new content. Thanks for watching. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. Well, how about that? Finally, some good Boeing news to report. And there's nobody happier about that than me. It's depressing reporting only bad Boeing news all the time. In an email to congressional staffers, the Federal Aviation Administration confirmed the start of a multi-day program to certify the MAX as soon as Monday. The FAA said they have approved a critical set of test flights on the 737 MAX after reviewing the safety assessment of the multiple fixes devised for the plane by Boeing. Bloomberg is reporting that over the past several weeks, the FAA has been reviewing the system safety assessment submitted by Boeing. The FAA's Type Inspection Authorization Board has completed its review, clearing the way for flight certification testing to begin. Okay, so what exactly is going to happen during these days of testing? Well, people familiar with the testing itinerary told Reuters what to expect. After a lengthy pre-flight briefing, the crew will board the 737 MAX 7 outfitted with test equipment at Boeing Field near Seattle. The crew will run methodically scripted mid-air scenarios such as steep banking turns, progressing into more extreme maneuvers on a route primarily over Washington State. Over the three-day testing period, the plan could include touch-and-go landings at the Eastern Washington Airport in Moses Lake and a path over the Pacific Ocean coastline, adjusting the flight plan and timing as needed for weather and other factors. For you serious av geeks, you can actually watch these test flights, sort of. The websites FlightRadar24 and FlightAware usually track Boeing's test flights in depth. You can find them on Google, of course, and I'll put a couple links down below as well. In one of the most important tests, Reuters reports the pilots will intentionally trigger the newly reprogrammed stall prevention software system known as MCAS. The tests are meant to ensure new protections Boeing added to MCAS are robust enough to prevent the scenario pilots encountered before both accidents when they were unable to counteract MCAS while simultaneously grappling with stick shaker column vibrations and other auditory warnings. Boeing's preparation has included hundreds of hours inside a 737 MAX flight simulator at its Long Acres facility in Renton, Washington, and hundreds of hours in the air on the same 737 MAX test airplane without FAA officials on board. At least one of those practice flights included the same testing parameters expected on Monday. However, according to Bloomberg, during the certification flights this week, the FAA will have one of its test pilots flying the plane alongside a Boeing pilot. They will be accompanied in the cockpit by an FAA flight test engineer and a Boeing flight test manager. Additional specialists will be in the cabin monitoring computerized instrumentation on the plane. Boeing said in his statement, We continue to work diligently on safely returning the 737 MAX to service. We will defer to the FAA and global regulators on the process. Reuters then says after flights are completed, the FAA officials in Washington and in the Seattle area will analyze reams of digital and paperwork flight test data to assess the jet's airworthiness. Likely weeks later after the data is analyzed and training protocols are firmed up, FAA Administrator Steve Dixon, a former F-15 fighter pilot who has promised the 737 MAX will not be approved until he has personally signed off on it, will board the very same plane to make his assessments. If all goes well, the FAA would then need to approve the new pilot training procedures, among other reviews, and would likely not approve the plane's ungrounding until September. However, with that said, it looks like the jet may resume commercial service in the U.S. before year's end. 
Keeping in mind, however, that Boeing has missed deadlines before due to unforeseen hiccups along the way, so I wouldn't expect Boeing to publicly forecast any resumption of dates just yet. However, yet another person with knowledge of the flight said, Based on how many problems have been uncovered, I would be stunned if the flight tests are only one and done. They went on to say the FAA will make sure that they find enough stuff wrong with the plane to demonstrate that they are putting this jet through its paces. The last thing the FAA or Boeing wants is for FAA Administrator Steve Dixon to do his own flight test and say it's not ready. Boeing wants Dixon's flight to be a coronation. Of course, even after the U.S. gives its blessing, the process isn't over. As we told you here on Maximus, regulators in Europe and Canada, while working closely with the FAA, will also conduct their own assessments and have pinpointed concerns that go beyond those of the FAA. Additionally, the EASA and Canada have already announced they will demand more changes than just software. Like I said, some good news for Boeing, huh? It's not over by any means, and honestly, given all that still has to take place between the USFAA and Europe and the EASA, it's unrealistic to look for the MAX to return to service anytime sooner than 2021. Well, that's all I got for now. Like I said, if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you check out the uh, flight tracking website so you can follow along with Boeing this week. I'll leave links down below. And don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you in the air next time. Yeah, this is Maximus.